Welcome to Bulwark, a game about chaotic creativity. No conventional controls, one button to paint the landscape, another to move around. And while you paint towers and walls, people will start to make the world come alive. Keep building, that's the trick. This can be confusing at first, overwhelming even. But don't worry, there's also no mistakes. This is the campaign mode. Here you get a taste of the open world building sandbox. It has a basic tutorial, a resource system based only on distance rather than how much you can produce, and an ever expanding set of encounters, world events and unlockables. A word of advice, click and build everywhere. There are no mistakes and slowly figuring out what builds where and how things grow is part of the game. It's about experimenting. So don't be afraid and go wild. Our people were wrecked during the War of the Tree. Dunkel, Castellus, Moorbridge, and even Port Remit. Nothing remained of our prosperous free houses after decades of attrition. We took what we had and left in order to resettle in peace away from the warlords and fiefdoms that remain. We will succeed, because on our backs the past was built, and from our hands the future will be wrought. Ah, you're finally here. We've already built a few essential buildings. I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. While you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards later on. First, connect this outpost to the woodmill, which is located down in the shallow water beside the sea tree fungi. Without wood, we cannot build. Notice our workers are already building houses and industry along the walkway. Wherever you build and our workers can reach, they will settle. Let's now focus on the wood mill. This is your wood mill. It produces and transports wood across walkways. Let us build a basic wooden tower with a walkway towards it. You just built a basic tower. It is used to connect up your settlement and transport vital resources. Workers will also build homes and industry around it. Wood can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the woodmill, but this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the woodmill. Good work. 
The wood mill is now delivering wood further than before, so we can move on. Across from the wood mill, we also built a stone quarry. Let's connect that to our settlement. Great job. Now we have access to the quarry, our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone. We can use this stone to upgrade various buildings and walkways. And, just like the wood mill, by allowing workers to build around it, the stone industry can expand. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower, in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. Select your outpost, so we can start expanding it further. Outposts can be upgraded as well. Let's use the stone to upgrade the outpost to its second stage. The worker output of our outpost can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. All towers allow for foundations, wood, stone, and later, command towers. Command towers also allow for battlements. We have done well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out. Your surveyor allows you to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. It will also help to get you out of trouble which is never far on the Ursi.
The world map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Iron will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. We now have access to iron, but it needs to be transported across the water. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. Several captains are now available. Each captain hauls specific resources. For this trade route, iron is required, but wood is also recommended to expand the mine later. I will carry stone and workers only, nothing else. My ship only carries wood and workers. My ship carries wood. My ship, I'm I will carry. I will only carry iron and workers for our industries. The iron I transport is helping our settlement grow and prosper. I will carry. St my ship only carries wood and workers. This isn't the best use of my vessel. Find me a better route. Harbors always need to be built as pairs. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect them. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. With iron, we can start building defensive structures, such as imposing command towers. But before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel. With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors, as well as additional foundations and balconies. Mighty command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky. Their height can be increased by adding more foundations as well as having better access to workers. 
build this tower as high as possible. Change the floor you are building from. Lower floors build foundations, while higher floors build balconies and sky bridges. Command tower foundations are strong battlements that support your tower. Foundations allow more floors to be built on the tower. Change the floor you are building from. Lower floors build foundations, while higher floors build balconies and sky bridges. This command tower is looking stout. We already have an experienced warbird commander among our retinue. Let's assign them to this command tower. With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. You will find no finer stable, not since the heyday of the War of the Tree. In service to our people, my retinue of falconeers is eager to settle in and get their warbirds airborne. Do not delay. Rest assured, friend, my warbirds are the strongest and fastest. My stable mixes Sark Hunter and Northern Grey Dive traits. Warbirds, the likes of which have not been seen for decades. This tower and its commander now stand watch over our settlement. Their forces will deploy, joining our battle group when the surveyor is near the command tower. Our settlement is established. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command towers. It's time to explore the surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. These are desperate times. 
so we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. But be wary of who you invite in. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Ursi. Rebuild our society as you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. The world map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. New forces are ready nearby. Fly up to their command tower for them to join our battle group. Pay attention to the political influence of your settlement. If one faction becomes dominant over the others, our neighbors may seek reason to rekindle old grievances. Before the Great War, the Imperium held the resources and the Mansa controlled the technology. Now only petty fiefdoms squabble for what little remains of Earthsea's old regime. You have no available resource extractors. You have no available resource extractors. You have no available resource extractors. You have no available resource extractors.
We have reached a milestone in population, aligning with the free houses. This will attract new free house captains and commanders to our banner. The free house folk are numerous and will generally make for the majority of people in our settlement. There is no iron available for this upgrade. What's more valuable than a warm hearth in these bleak times? Well, look no further. Master fabricator of boilers and heated houses at your service. Had some minor mishaps at my previous patron, but I assure you, I can deliver fabulous Mark II heated houses. <sighs> What's more valuable? <sighs> What's more valuable? <sighs> What's <sighs> what's more valuable? <sighs> what's more valuable? <sighs> this is Mark II. Whatever stories you might have heard, Shoddy Mansa Welding was to blame. Idle gossip, nothing more. What's more? that you have a space for me and my crew. We'll make a fine addition to your workforce. What harm? Hello there. Word has it that you have a space for me and my crew. We'll make a fine... What harm is there in hiring me? Your loss, I guess. Hello there. You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. Rest assured, friend, my warbirds are the strongest and fastest. My stable mixes Sark Hunter and Northern Grey Dive traits. Warbirds, the likes of which have not been seen for decades. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. There is word amongst free house traders that you offer respite for weary captains. Will you have me and my ship? It's a bad day when an honest trader cannot find work. My service would have raised your standing with other free house traders. There is word amongst... You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport goods.
Our research post has not been supplied in over a year. We would go apostate and find safety in your group. The order is fractured and cannot provide for us. Our kin cannot stay out here exposed. We will move on and remember your ejection. Our A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. There is no stone available for this upgrade. There is no stone available for this upgrade. We are but humble refugees, many from the great imperial houses. Please demolish this paltry holding, and we will rebuild wherever you survey a good spot. We are greatly reduced, and this is our last holding. Reject us and many more are certain to pass. Their splinters lost to us. We are but... A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take the... Seems I have finally found that rumored safe haven, and what a sorry sight. Where are your gunships? Your... Our service is appreciated in many a port. You would be wise to accept us. The dark days will surely come when you have need of our guns. Seems I have finally found that rumored safe haven, and what... You have enrolled an officer. They command a mighty warship to defend your trade routes. This meager holding was always a last resort. We need a more permanent home. Demolish this temporary haven so we can rebuild upon a spot of your choosing. We carry no grudge. We bring no war, only grief. The skills that we wield would have become the backbone of your settlement.
This is too close to something else. I will carry stone and workers only. Nothing else. My ship carries wood. I'll ferry your workers anywhere, if you'll let me. I'll transport anything you wish me to. Any pirate would do well to avoid my guns. I will... I'll transport anything. Any pirate would do well to avoid my guns. I will sweep this trade route clean. Just say the word. I'll transport. I'll ferry your workers anywhere. There's lots of traffic, but I will continue to carry my passengers safely across. It's like the good old days. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. I will carry stone and work. My ship carries wood. I'll transport anything you wish me to. Things are improving. This route is profitable. And I've been hauling good loads. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. production are for the Banalus, and they say it's under our protection. You're joking, right? Get some pirate blood going in that settlement of yours, then we'll talk. Aye, aye, aye. This wood mill and all of its sea tree. Raid before trade? But we lost some good fighters. This wood mill and all of its C3 production are for the Banalus, and they say it's under our protection. Raid before trade? But we lost some good fighters. How about you send over some workers to the trade arbor, and we can send some wood in exchange? We are at war. All traitorous commanders and captains are being dismissed. And our forces are on alert. Your surveyor has been destroyed. Luckily, you made it out in one piece. We are building you a replacement now. A new surveyor has been constructed at great cost. Do take care of this one. We are now at risk of being raided by pirates. Our wealth and prosperity... A 
Additional forces have joined our battle group. Hostiles ahead. All falconeers and escorts, defend our ship. We have won the day. This woodmill and all of its C3 production are for the Banalus, and they say it's under our protection. Take it, but we will remember this slight. What's a little quarrel amongst brothers and sisters? This was... We are under fire. Man the guns! You have no avail- This wood mill and all of its- Take- What's a little quarrel amongst brothers and sisters? This was just weeds on the tide? This conquest will escalate the war. We can expect the enemy to strike back stronger, attempting to lay waste to your surveyor and task force. Attack! Surface threats neutralized. I will carry stone and workers only. Not My ship carries wood. There's no wood here. My ship carries wood. I will carry stone and workers only. Nothing else. Any pirate would... You have no available resource extractors. An old sentry tower. We can get this working again. We can salvage it, turning it into an offensive emplacement when dropped anywhere. You can also attach it to a harbor, making it a rallying point for your surface fleet. 
We'll scrap it. Perhaps patch up your ship and escorts. There's plenty of dinks and scratches already.